Hey everyone, welcome to Studio SNC. Let's get started today lying down. So make your way down onto your mat and just place your arms down by your side, your feet and knees hip width apart, your, your neck long. So tuck the chin in to create length in the back of the neck. And then pay attention to that lower back area. We're gonna melt it into the floor. So breathe in, press the lower back into the mat and then breathe out, just release. So tilting the pelvis, your posterior pelvic tilt as you press the lower back into the mat, feel that tightening in the waist and then releasing. Two more just like this, lengthening through that lower spine as you press the lower back down and then releasing into a neutral or natural spine and then pressing the lower back down one last time and then releasing. We're going to breathe in, press the lower back down and breathe out, follow through into a shoulder bridge. So inhale here at the top, press the arms into the floor and breathe out, draw the belly button in as you release the spine down, vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly and controlled, relaxing the hips into their natural shape. Breathe in, press the lower back down, breathe out, push with the feet and we lift up. Keep those knees steady as you lift the hips, inhale at the very top, squeeze through the glutes and then breathe out, draw the belly button in as you slowly, carefully allow the spine to find its way back down to the mat. And let's do one more. So breathe in, press the lower back down, breathe out, push with the feet and lift those hips up. Inhale at the very top, squeeze through the glutes and breathe out, draw the belly button in, release the spine down vertebrae by vertebrae, relaxing the hips into their natural shape. Breathe in, we press the lower back down, breathe out the right leg finds tabletop. Inhale here and exhale, extend that right leg to hover off the floor. Breathe in, we bend the right knee back into tabletop. Exhale, extend. So bringing in your Pilates breath now, so you're inhaling through the nose if you can and breathe out through the mouth. Start to zip up through those tummy muscles as well. So slowly engaging. Inhale, bending back in. Exhale, extending, lowering, hovering the foot off the floor. And then bending back in line with your hip again. Exhale, extend, lower and hover. And breathe in, bend back in. Two to go on this side, so breathe out, extend. Inhale, bend in. And last one. Exhale, extend out. And inhale, bend in. Extend that right leg up towards the ceiling now. Two hands find the back of the right leg. Flex and point, flex and point. And then continue into a circle, getting rid of any clicks, any discomfort in the toes, the ankle. Change direction of the circle. And then we bend and straighten a couple of times, loosening out through the knee. And then turn that right knee out towards your right shoulder. Pull the right knee towards the right shoulder. Feel the stretch deepen in the lower back. And then release, but keep the direction of the knee. Arms come out a little wider from the body, palms up. Engage your tummy muscles if you've lost that connection and start to circle. So start off with small circles, opening up through that right hip. And then keeping the left side steady, the upper body steady. Maybe make the circles a little bigger if it feels good. And then don't forget to breathe. So with that core connection, breathe in through the nose, sending the breath into the rib cage, the upper, the lower ribs, the outer, the back, obviously the front. Last couple of times with this soft one leg circle. And then we bend the right knee, place the right ankle on the left thigh. And then we lift that left knee up and then lower the left foot to the floor, lifting up. Add a little resistance now. So press into that left thigh with your right foot so that you feel the lower tummy muscles on that left side working. At the same time, you're getting a deep hip stretch on the right side and a stretch in the lower back on the left side. A couple more. So we lift the left foot up and we lower it down. One last time, we lift up and lower it down. Allow that structure just tip to the left, opening up and then looking over your right shoulder. Opening that right knee up towards the ceiling now, feeling that deep stretch deepen or sending that stretch into the glutes of the bum muscles. 
one last stretch or one last breath here. And then we slowly, carefully come back through the center. Uncross the legs, that right foot finds its place in line with your hips. And then slide the arms in. We inhale, lift the left leg into tabletop. Exhale, extend. So easier version of one leg stretch. And sometimes it's good to break things down and go back to the, the basics. So you're sending the left leg to straighten and hover off the floor. Imagine you're stretching it through some re something resistant so you're not just throwing the leg out. At the same time, paying attention to the lower abdomen region on that left side. And you're warming up through the knees and the hips and then teaching the body to stabilize, to isolate one part of the body and then the rest of the body staying still with the help of your tummy muscles. And then last time like this, exhale, we extend and then bend in. Extend that left leg, two hands to the back of the left um, leg or hamstrings, and then direct your left knee towards your left shoulder and pull, feel the stretch deep in here. Hold it, breathe into it. And then flex the foot, point the toes, flex the foot again, maybe point again, start your circle, getting rid of any clicks in the ankle, any discomfort in the foot, change direction of the circle. And then from here, turn that left knee slightly out towards the left shoulder, arms softening out from the body and start that soft circle, small circle from the left hip joint. And sometimes with one leg circle, it's nice to close the eyes, focus on that ball and socket joint. It helps you notice if there's any movement going on in the rest of the body, the right side, the head, the shoulders. Notice if you're pushing into that right foot. And then notice if there's any discomfort or restriction along the way of the circle. And then last couple here. From here, bend that left knee, place the left ankle on the right thigh. We lift the right foot up and then we lower it down. And then add that little bit of pressure. So pressing back, pushing back into your right thigh as you lift the right knee up in line with the hip. Working your lower tummy muscles here on that right side. Also getting that lovely stretch on the left hip. Stretching out through the lower back. Lifting and lowering down. Lifting up and lowering down. A couple more here. And last one. Now allow that structure fall to the right the way it is, opening up through that right hip, looking to the left, feeling a deep, deep hip stretch, a glute stretch on the left side. One more breath in, one more exhale out, and then slowly make your way back to the center. We're gonna uncross the legs, hug the knees into the chest. Add a little bit of pressure on the shins with the hands, gently rocking from side to side, then lift through the head and the chest, look in between the legs. Breathe in, hug the knees in so tight that that tailbone lifts or wants to lift. Extend the legs towards a high light switch, feet in Pilates V, palms up, arms slightly wide from the body. Breathing in, hugging in the knees and breathing out, stretching. So inhale, knees come in and breathe out, stretch and lengthen. Inhale, hug the knees in, and then extend those legs straight. Breathe in, hug in, and breathe out, stretch and lengthen. Last three, inhale, and stretch. Two more, extend it out, and last one, breathe in, and breathe out, stretch. From here, Two legs into tabletop or maybe a little closer to the upper body, but try and keep that wider right angle in the leg. We allow the knees go to the left, anchor with the right side of the upper back, look to the right. Breathe out, take the weight of the legs with your exhale, with your obliques, and then knees to the right, going down, looking to the left, and that breath out, bringing you back through the center. Inhale, knees going to the left, looking to the right, 
breathing out, coming back through the midline. And then knees going to the right, looking to the left. And breathe out back through the center. Knees going one way, looking over that right shoulder. Feel the pull of the waist as the knees come back through the middle. And then knees going to the right, looking to the left. And then coming back through the center. Knees to the left, breathing in. Breathe out, take the weight back through the middle. And inhale, knees to the right and look to the left. And then back through the center. One more set like this. Feeling those obliques or side tummy muscles switching on. And then knees to the right, look to the left. And then back through the center. Extend the legs out on the inhale. Exhale, bend the knees in. Slide those arms in close to the body as we extend. And then we bend. Extend and straighten. Press the lower back into the floor as you do. Last two like this, point through the toes. And then bend through the knees. And then last one, point and bend. We peel the lower back up, inhale. Exhale, we lower it down. Breathe in, we peel. And breathe out, we lower. We're going to add to it. So inhale, peel up. Lower down. Extend the right leg towards the skirting board. Bend it in. Extend the left leg towards the skirting board. Bend it in. Peel the lower back up. And release with control. Extend the right leg. And bend it in. Extend the left leg and bend it in. Peel the lower back up. Release it back down. Right leg extends and draw it back in. Left leg extends and draw it back in. Peel up and lower back down. Extend that right leg, hover off the floor. Bend it back in. Extend and bend. Peel it up. Lower it down and continue with this. You can straighten the leg higher if you want to, if you feel it's too much to go as low. Peel up and release. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. Two to go. Peel up and release down. Extend the right leg. Bend it in. Extend the left leg and bend it in. Breathing in, peel up, release it down, extend the right leg and bend, extend the left leg and bend. Let's do one more. Really blasting those lower tummy muscles with the reverse curl and then getting those hip flexors involved as you extend and bend. Okay, feet to the floor. Plant those feet down, hip width apart, knees alongside or knees hip width as well. Lift up onto the heels. So if you need to move the feet further away to do this, you can. Press into the arms. So you're bracing the arms. You're going to inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, lower the hips down. Flip a tip the body weight forward, come up onto the toes now. And then lower the weight down. Back up onto the heels as we squeeze through the glutes. And then lower the feet, lower the hips, up onto the toes and squeeze. And then lower the heels, lower the hips, back up onto the heels. So alternating with a hip lift. One on the toes and then one on the heels. Lower the heels, lower the hips. On the heels as you lift and squeeze, release back down. Feeling those bum muscles working up onto the toes. And then lower the heels, lower the hips. Up onto the heels, squeeze, and then lower the hips, lower the feet, up onto the toes and squeeze, and then lower the heels, lower the hips, up onto the heels and squeeze. See if you're mixing it up, press down with those arms, lower the feet, lower the hips. Last time, up onto those toes and squeeze, and release. So it's nice to sneak in some movement in the feet and the lower legs. Draw that right knee in now, right hand to the outside, towards the ankle, left hand to the inside of the right knee, extend that left leg high and then lower it down as much as you want. Lift through the upper body, look in between your legs, breathe in, pull, breathe in, switch, breathe out, pull, breathe out, switch. So you're sending one leg long as you hug the opposite knee in. 
melt that lower back into the floor, stretching away with one foot as you extend with the opposite. Full version of one leg stretch. If you need to make it easier, you can lower the head. You can stretch those legs higher. You can do both. If you want to make it more challenging, get more of the shoulder blades up off the floor. Brace your tummy muscles. Go lower with the feet. Hug a little harder as you hug the knees in. Not bobbing from side to side with the upper body here. Keeping that upper body strong and stable. Hug in and switch. Hug in and switch. One more time. Hug and switch and hug and switch. Draw the two knees into the chest now. Gently rock from side to side, allow the head to join in too. Rocking from side to side, massaging the base of the spine, massaging the mid and the upper back. Cross those ankles, take a deep breath in, breathe out, make your way up into a seated position. So keep the ankles crossed and then lean the upper body forward using your legs and your knees as armrests. Tuck the chin in, breathe in. Holding here, feel that deep stretch in the back of the neck. And then we lift up into a tall spine. Widen the elbows. And then exhale, you're rounding forward, flaring those elbows out. Inhale, we're finding length. Draw the forearms to the thighs. Pull the elbows in. So exhale, elbows out. Holding onto your kneecaps, rounding forward. Inhale, pushing into those knees, lifting and sitting tall, chin in throughout. Breathing out, rounding, tuck the chin in. And inhale, push into those knees, the chest comes up, find that straight spine. Two more times, rounding, tuck the chin in. And then finding that lovely long spine on the inhale. And one last time, breathe out, round forward. And inhale, find that tall, long spine. Extend the legs out now, a little wider than hip width apart. So tall, long spine, fingertips in between the legs, the chest is open. Take a deep breath in and breathe out, round forward. Inhale, feel the stretch, flex through those feet. And then exhale, rebuild, restack. Relengthen. So a nice easy spine stretch. Chest is open, stack your shoulders over your hips, flex those feet, exhale round forward, tucking the chin in, feel that deep stretch. And then we slowly carefully make our way back in. We're going to do it a little faster. So breathe out, we slide forward, tuck the chin in, go a little further. Inhale, we come back in slowly, carefully, chest opens. Breathe out, we round forward. And then inhale, we bring it back in. Now try this, slightly turn your knees in towards each other, your big toes in towards each other. Exhale, round forward, tuck the chin. And then inhale, bring it back in, chest opens up. Breathe out, round forward, tuck the chin. And inhale, find that length as you draw it all back up into that tall spine. Two more times. Breathing out, rounding forward. And inhale. And last time, breathe out, rounding forward. And then inhale, finding that long, tall spine. From here, extend the legs out in front with your feet in Pilates V. We're going to inhale, reach forward, tuck the chin, add a pulse here. One, two. Exhale, roll down to the mat. Inhale, just reach the arms slightly wide from the body. And then exhale, bring it all the way up. Inhale, pulse, one, two. Exhale, roll down. This time, inhale the arms up over your shoulders only. Exhale, bring it all the way up. Inhale, pulse, one, two. Exhale, roll down onto the mat. Inhale, rest those arms slightly wide. And exhale, use your breath to bring it up. It's a little harder. Inhale, pulse, one, two. Exhale, roll down. 
inhale arms over your shoulders and then exhale bring it all the way up into a seated position breathe in pulse one two exhale roll down onto the mat inhale slightly wide from the body exhale use your breath to come up and breathe in pulse one two exhale roll down to the mat inhale arms up over your shoulders and then exhale use the breath to come up Breathe in, pulse one, two. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, arms slightly wide. And exhale, use your breath to come up. And breathe in, pulse one, two. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, arms over your shoulders. And then exhale, use your breath to come all the way up. This time we're gonna change it up. Pulse one, two. Exhale, roll it down. Arms come wide on the inhale. Exhale, right arm to the outside of a bent left knee. Pulse one, two. And then left arm to the outside of a bent right knee. Pulse one, two. Breathe in and breathe out. Come all the way up. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, roll it down. Arms over your shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out. Two arms to the outside of a left leg. Now, if you can't come up as high as me, you can just twist like you did with the first one. Pulse, one, two. Inhale, and then exhale. Bring it all the way up into a seated position. Breathe in, one, two, pulse. Exhale, roll down. Arms come slightly wide. On the inhale, stay. On the exhale, we twist, bring it over. Inhale, open. Exhale, cross over and inhale open breathe out bring it all the way up inhale pulse one two exhale roll it down arms over your shoulders on the inhale outside of that left leg bring it up so if you can't come up as high as me just do a simple twist it up breathe out right leg pulse one two and then inhale exhale bring it all the way up into a seated position Breathe in, reach, one, two. Exhale, roll it down to the mat. Inhale, arms rest. Exhale, right arm, left leg. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Pulse, one, two. And inhale, exhale, bring it up. <sighs> inhale, so that's a breath. That's what it should sound like. Roll it down to the mat. Inhale, arms over your shoulders. Exhale, bring it up. Pulse, one, two. Inhale, arms over the shoulders. Exhale, bring it up. Pulse, one, two. And inhale. Exhale, bring it all the way up into a seated position. Let's do one more round on either side. Roll it down. Arms rest. Head rest, then bring it up straight away. Inhale, open. Exhale, outside of the right leg. Inhale, open. Breathe out, bring it all the way up. Inhale, pulse. Exhale, roll it down. Arms over your shoulders last time. Exhale, bring it all the way up. Inhale. Breathe out, bring it all the way up if you can. And inhale. Breathe out, make your way all the way up into a seated position. Reach towards your feet and take hold of the furthest point you can get. Tuck the chin in, folding forward here and hold a stretch. And then we slowly make our way up into a seated position. We're gonna place the soles of the feet together here and scoot or move a bum forward. Holding onto your shins, lift the feet up off the floor. Just balancing here for a moment. Inhale, lift the chest up. Try and keep the feet up off the floor. Exhale, roll down onto the mat. And inhale, do the same again. So breathing out, rounding. And inhale, lifting. Breathe out, rounding. And inhale, lifting. Breathing out, rocking. Exhale, bring it up, lift that chest. Breathe out, rock back. And inhale, find length. Two to go. Breathe out, rock. Inhale. And last one, breathe out. And inhale. 
Place the feet a little wider, so as wide as the mat. If you can, pull your heels beside your hips, but if this is not accessible to you, do your best to find a version that works for you. So you can have the knees just falling in towards each other. And then just lean the upper body forward. Feel a deep stretch here in the, neck, the, the knees and the thighs, surrounding those thighs. See if you can go further into it by resting your hands on your knees, your forearms on that crease. Feel a deeper stretch and then slowly, carefully make your way up. So reset those knees, wrap your arms around your legs, tuck the chin in here and pull back with the belly button to ripple you, to ripple around through that spine, tuck the chin in, feel it in the upper back as you push against your arms and then pull against those thighs or knees or shins even. And then we slowly reset. Okay, flip onto your right side. Start off with your right elbow in line with your right shoulder. The knees away from the upper body with the feet behind and the side of the waist lifted. Place your left hand on your hip. We inhale, lift the hip up. Exhale, we bring it back down. Breathe in, we lift it up. And breathe out, we lower. Inhale, lift, feel the side waist working. Exhale, lower it down. Breathe in, lift up and breathe out, release. Keep the movement going. Inhale, lift, and then lower it down. Breathe in, lift up, and breathe out, release. Two to go. Lift it up, and lower it down, and one last time. Lift up, and lower it down. This time, lift and hold. So reach that left arm up. Start to make circles with the left arm. So swinging the arm around, and then last time in this direction, if you need to lower the hips at any point you can, change direction, circling the opposite way. And release. Okay, we switch sides straight away. So coming down onto, or coming over onto your left side. Place your right hand on your hip. Your left elbow's in line with your left shoulder. The forearm is out in front. We lift the hips up and we lower it down. We lift up again, and then notice if any, or if any, if one of your sides feels a little harder than the other. So lifting and releasing. Breathe in, lift up and release down. Inhale, lift, feel those side tummy muscles working on the left side. Inhale, lift up and release it back down. Lift up and lower. Inhale, lift, and lower it down. Last three here, keep it going. And two more, lift, and lower down. One last time, inhale, lift, and lower it down. So we lift and hold now. So lift and hold, reach up with that top arm or your right arm and start to make circles. Opening through that right shoulder. Last one. Now change direction of the circle. Getting rid of any clicks, any discomfort in that right shoulder. Do one more. And lower it down. Okay, we're gonna flip over onto our belly now. Place those elbows in line with your shoulders and bend the knees. The knees are hip width or maybe a little wider. And gently wag your tail, so legs from side to side here. and then extend the legs out. Tuck the toes under, add a little bounce forward and back. If you have any discomfort in your back here, you can place those elbows for, further forward or further forward and out as well. Point through the toes, press the front of the feet into the floor. Spread those fingers, we inhale, lift those elbows up and then lower the elbows down. Breathe in, lift and lengthen and then lower the elbows down. Breathe in, lift, and then release the elbows down. Breathe in, lift those elbows, straighten through the arms, and then lower the elbows down. Breathe in, lift up, and then lower it down. Two more. Lift the elbows up, and then lower the elbows down. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Move the forearms out to, the either, to either side, tuck the chin in, and gently wag your tail here. 
from here a gentler extension so glue that lower part of your body to the mat inhale we peel the upper body press the elbows and the forearms into the floor and then exhale slowly move through water as you lower down inhale peeling up keep the length in the neck and think of someone pulling you from the crown of your head and from the tail at the same time Inhale, we peel, lift and lengthen. And then exhale, we release it back down slowly with control. Inhale, peel, lift. And then exhale, lower down. We're going to add a leg now. So bend that right knee as you lift the chest. Point through those right toes. And then lower the right leg as you lower the chest. The left knee bends as we lift the chest up. And then lower, extend through that left leg. Breathe in, right knee bends as we lift. And then extend that right leg out. Breathe in, peel the chest up, bend through that left knee. And then lower it down. So you can adjust if you need to. Right knee bends, the chest lifts. Try not to look up, keep the length in your neck. Left knee bends as we lift the chest. And then lower it down. We're going to make it slightly harder now. So we peel the chest, squeeze the elbows into the rib cage as you bend that right knee. And then you lower the arms, extend through the right leg. Bend the left knee, pull those elbows into the rib cage. And then lower the chest, lower the arms, extend the left leg. Breathe in. Draw in, keep the length in the spine. By adding that pull of the elbows into the rib cage, you're activating those side back muscles, squeezing, and then releasing it back down. Breathe and peel, and then lower it down. Last time on the left leg, inhale, peel it up, and then lower it down. Hands find the lower part of your back now. Draw those legs in as close to each other as possible and bend the elbows. So we kick twice for double leg kick and extend the arms and the legs, pull that chin in. Breathe in, kick, kick, and exhale, stretch and lengthen. Breathe in, kick twice, stretch, lift and lengthen. If you can't lift the chest here too far, if it aggravates the lower back, just straighten through the arms and the legs and work on that part. Work on the coordination of bending the elbows as you bend the knees and then extending the arms as you extend the legs. If you have no issues in your lower back and you want to work on opening that chest and pulling the shoulder blades back and down, notice if your chin is jutting out, if it's not coming with the upper body, pull it in, breathe in, kick, kick, exhale, stretch and lengthen, squeezing the shoulder blades back and down, kick, kick, and then stretch and lengthen. Breathe and kick twice, stretch and lengthen. Two to go, kick it twice and stretch and lengthen. One last time, breathe in and breathe out, stretch and lengthen. Slowly lower the chest, hands come in underneath the shoulders. Take a deep breath in, breathe out, push yourself up and reach the hips back. Ripple forward into a half plank on your exhale. So send the weight forward, tipping the body forward, shoulders arriving over your wrists. Inhale, you reach those hips straight back again. This time, tuck the toes under. Exhale, ripple forward into your half plank. Transition into full plank. Lift the knees up. Lower those knees down and then reach the hips back. Press the armpits down. Exhale, ripple forward. Feel that lovely lengthening in the spine. Push into the forearms or push into the hands so your shoulder blades apart. Spin the inner elbows forward. Inhale, reach the hips back. Press the armpits down. Exhale, tip forward. Find that half plank. Simple transition into full plank. Lift the knees and then lower the knees back down. One last time, hips go back. Exhale, transition into your half plank. Breathe in, lift the knees up, full plank. And exhale, lower those knees down. Reach the hips back one last time. Crawl forward in your mat or on your mat. Make your way to the top of your mat. Cross the ankles, sit back onto your bum. And then allow yourself to find your way all the way. Or find your way down to your mat.
keep those ankles crossed and twine the fingers on the lower ribs and gently rock the legs from side to side. Allow the head to join in too. And then from here, allow your body to find a shape. It doesn't matter what it is, make it your own. Allowing the arms and the legs to rest. Allowing the body to slow, the breath to slow. Noticing if you're holding on to any tension in the neck. Let it go. Notice if you're holding on to any tension in the lower back, the hips. Let it go. Open your belly, open your heart center and allow your breath to move freely through the body. And with every exhale, let go a little more. The arms heavier, the legs heavier. The entire body releasing and letting go on every level. And now sending some movement to your fingers, your toes, your head, gently move it from side to side. And then draw those knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your legs, and gently rock from side to side, warming the spine back up. Slip the hands to the backs of the legs, breathe in, breathe out, make your way up into a seated position. Well done everybody, thank you so much for joining me, I'll see you next time.